This segment brought to you by Kansas Grain Sorghum, growers working together. Find out more at kansasgrainsorghum.org. Welcome to Farm Factor. Let's join Dwayne Taves as he visits with Jarrett Moyer about the successes he has had with bud boxes and grass traps on his ranch. Dwayne Taves joining you once again here on Ag AM in Kansas and a chance to catch up with Jared Moyer and talk a little bit about uh, your beef cattle operation, Jared. Uh, the family is, uh, has fed cattle and, and been in the beef cattle business uh, for a long time. But uh, some of the interesting uh, things that evolve over time is some of the cattle handling systems and, and you've kind of settled on one that, uh, that works pretty well for you guys. Dwayne, thanks for being here and glad to have you with me. Um, Yes, uh, we're excited and we've been using it for a long time. Uh, it's a pretty, sometimes revisiting simple designs uh, will achieve some good things, but it's using what many people call a bud box, and uh, which is just simply trying to utilize the cattle's natural behavior. Um, anybody that's ever tried to move cattle, a lot of times know when you come up against resistance, the first thing they want to do is come right back over the top of you. So we're trying to utilize that in the fact that you bring them into that enclosure uh, with an open gate where they can see daylight on the uh, far end. They reach that and of course their instinct is to say, we don't want to go here, we got to go back. And uh, so it's controlling that um, interaction between you and the cattle for them to come back and fill the alleyway in a very simple constructed way to handle the cattle. We think about uh, there's a lot of reasons why. One, it, uh, it ends up reducing fatigue on the producer, uh, but ultimately it, uh, it reduces stress on cattle as well. It does. Anytime you can use their natural instincts um, and just that pressure and release of pressure for them to do the right things, it makes my day better and theirs as well. Um, there's also good research to show that uh, some of the uh, vaccinations and procedures you're doing while you're having them in through those facilities will actually work better over the time of their life. We think about, uh, it's kind of an old concept, but sometimes you got to slow down to speed up is something that gets said often. It, it is, it is. Uh, you don't want to quote that uh, Ricky Bobby saying, but you know, going fast is sometimes going slow. But with livestock, that's a lot of times the case that if you handle them slow and easy, they'll actually move through your facilities better, faster, and let your, you and your people be more efficient. Let's talk a little bit about more another aspect of uh, your facility and the ranch operation there, that uh, some grass traps in your feeding facilities, uh, instead of just a strictly confinement operation when we bring cattle in, uh, has some added benefit as well. One thing that we've tried to incorporate is, uh, besides just our dry lot pens, um, which you'd be very common in a backgrounding type situation, is what we call or refer to as a grass trap. That's simply a small 15 to 25 acre pasture um, where we can hold about a half a semi load of cattle. Um, this is how we work our stocking um, on those. They also have uh, fence line bunks where we're supplementing feeding those so yes you are trying to utilize the grass as some of your forage probably somewhere around 15 to 20 percent but really what it is is to let those cattle especially in our case high risk southeastern calves get out stretch their legs put their head down graze and we've just found tremendous health benefits on the cattle seeing less mortality more less morbidity on those calves that we can handle through the grass traps. Our thanks to Jarrett Moyer joining us here on Ag AM in Kansas. Jamie, we'll send it back to you. Thanks, Dwayne. Folks, come back after these messages for this week's Kansas Soybean Update. KFRM is one of the largest farm radio stations in the nation, dedicated to informing and entertaining rural listeners from northern Oklahoma to southwestern Nebraska. You can catch KFRM in many ways. Of course, 550 on the AM dial, streaming at KFRM.com, or on your smartphone by going to the TuneIn Radio app, or on Ag AM in Kansas on Tuesdays and Facebook every day of the week. KFRM, tune us in. You'll be glad you did. 